Hey, what's up? Uh, I just received my GTX 460 video card today, finally. Uh, it's the EVGA version, and I will be unboxing and reviewing it for you today. So I'll just give you a look of the box so you could see what you're buying or what you want to buy. Okay, just gonna take off the plastic peel. And as you can see now, um, EVGA uh, includes a cardboard box, it's a recyclable material, and this is a change from their see-through plastic boxes that they used to sell, and uh, they, they say they're going green, which I personally don't care for that much because um, I felt that when I bought the card, I could feel the card shaking um, inside the box, which shows that obviously this this whole going green idea isn't that isn't that beneficial for the customer because of course you want your card to be safe, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, could live with it, and yeah, I'll just show the accessories right now. Uh, this is a bumper sticker. I could see that it was like cracked or dented in the box when I received it, which isn't a big deal because I probably won't use it. And here's the card and all the accessories. We'll do the accessories first. got your uh, two 4 pin Molex, two um, 6 pin PCI adapter, you got another one, two of those. You got a VGA to DVI port adapter, usually comes with all of them. Um, and then you have a mini HDMI to HDMI cord, that's a first for EVGA's cards because this card actually includes a mini HDMI port on the back along with two DVI ports and this is the card it really looks smaller than the the rest of the Fermi cards that NVIDIA released um, they did redesign the whole card the Fermi architecture for this 460 brand I'll just go ahead and take off the peel so you can see the card Yeah, that is a really small card. I'll measure it at the end of the video. This is the external exhaust design of the 460. Um, I believe at the moment only EVGA is making them. Uh, they are good for keeping hot air out of your case, but rumor has it that they actually keep the card a couple of degrees hotter than the reference design with a fan in the middle on top of the heatsink. So it's it's your choice. I I chose this one because I personally am an EVGA fanboy and I'm a fan of their warranty and their service and I do plan on stepping up later on to a 470 or a 480 with their step up program which is pretty cool. Um yep. That's the fan you could see through, um, and this is the external exhaust design. There's a giant shroud on the back where the hot air dissipates through, 
um, that'll go at the back of your case and you got your two DVI ports and a mini HDMI port and on the front or I don't know what that part is but that's where your two six pin PCI Express slot connectors will go and because it's such a short card uh, it wouldn't really affect you if you had a mid ATX case so um, spacing won't be a problem obviously and there you go you got your uh, SLI port but unfortunately it doesn't support tri SLI only dual SLI and I'm gonna go measure it now it is actually around eight and a quarter inches long approximately and it is about uh, three and three quarter inches and the thickness is about about one and a quarter and the video card brand that I bought came with a free StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty um, trial trial coupon I'm not gonna give you the serial but there you go that's that's what it looks like it's just a coupon with an ad in the back um, not that much of a fan of StarCraft 2 but I guess I'll give it a try and yeah thanks for watching my unboxing and review of the GTX 460 EVGA brand and uh, I hope you enjoyed it I will be making maybe some gameplay videos of the 460 in action and possibly an overclocking video so yeah stay tuned thanks